Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a component dynamically, and we have also created a directive to place that component dynamically created component in that uh, placeholder we are trying to keep, right? So let's see how we can place that component in that directive. Okay. So before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to my channel, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. So that I'll be posting more and more front-end development courses. Okay. So coming to the video. Now let's try to see here in this auth component at HTML. Here we have created ng template and we have used app placeholder. Now you now with this app placeholder, we can access this app placeholder using view chain. Okay, so previously in the previous videos, we have accessed the view chain using reference, right? In the same scenario, we can access this placeholder directly also. So we can use this one ng template this app placeholder we can use this one so using the view chain so how we can use the one is for example i can go here and i can use of something like at the rate view chain okay at the rate view chain and here i can give placeholder directive and i can keep something like alert host of type placeholder directive so i can mention like this also okay so you may be having a doubt that so but we can we give like this placeholder directive why because so what it will do is view chill so if you give this placeholder directive it will go to the template and it will check that where is that placeholder directive place so here we have placed this placeholder directive app placeholder this we are calling the app placeholder directive with the <coughs> selector name app placeholder so it will take this uh, in the view chain. So if you go to the Angular documents and if you see here view chain about the view chain, okay, view chain property. This one we, it will take change looks for the first element or the directive. So that means what it will do is so the following selectors are the supported in the view chain. So what are the selectors supported is so any class with the adderate component or adderate directive. So if anyone is having the adderate component or adderate directive, we can it is supporting. So we are having adderate decorator for the App placeholder header, so that is the reason it will support. So here you can you, you can use fire my component like this hash uh, see hash component. So we can use adderate check component hash. So we can use this hash component also. So that means in the previous videos we have seen this one hash like this view reference we have used. And also we can use this uh, something like service also. And also we can use this pro <coughs> string token also. And also we can use with the template reference also. Okay. So like this we can use so for example if you go here and if you see here the example here you, they have created something like directive selector child directive and the directive has been created and in this uh, template so in this template we are if you are using this one so what i can say <coughs> if you are using in the directive in this template and you can access this one at the rate child directive child of child directive have you the same scenario we have used so this bang operator is nothing but what we can see is in the type field we have already told you that bang operator that one is not mandatory okay so whether they can mention this child directory or not okay. so that is the reason so here in the same scenario we are using this placeholder directory okay so now this placeholder directory somehow we got this one in the in, in the alert host so what i will try to do here <coughs> here in this alert host what i can do is this dot alert host dot in this alert host we will be having view container ref right so why we are having this view container ref to go to the placeholder directive i have mentioned this one as a public so that means i can access this public view container ref directly so here i have using this view container ref first before placing this component i want to clear this one so if any component already inserted into that one so i am clearing that one okay so if any if any components are already present in that view container ref, I am clearing that view container so that that view container will be empty. Now in this view container, I will try to create a component. So dot view container ref dot create component. Okay. So you will be having so in the previous videos we have seen create embedded view. Now we are trying to create create component. So in this create component, so we need to send the component factory. You need to remember that you need not need to send the component. You need to send the component factory. So we already got the component factory here. So let's try to send the component factory. Okay, we have successfully sent the component factory here. And now let's try to execute this code. So now if I go here and if I execute this code, 
now let's try to execute this code and if i click on login so it's nothing is working so for example let's try to refresh it again okay and let's try to see the output and if you see you are able to see the pop up c so but the, there is no message showing why because we are not sending any input message to the component and close also will not work why because we are not handling any event for this one so just we have created component dynamically and we have we have attached this one to the here in this ng template okay before creating before creating we are clearing that anything is present already present and we are using this one okay so and we are creating a component so in this way we can create a component dynamically and but now we are not sending any data to this one so now in the next video what we will try to see is uh, do is we will try to send the data and also we will try to get the data from that component we will try to see that two as a programmatically and now in prior to the angular 9 versions so this this one will not work why because so here what you will try to what you will get an error is we are here we have not mentioned any alert model component in the declarations right so but still we are able to see the alert model component why because after the angular 9 so because of the iv rendering so there is no need to mention the entry components previously we used to have entry components okay so we used to have entry components this one has been cancelled see so now if you have if you want to if you need to mention in in the entry components this alert model component okay so dynamically injected components you need to mention in this entry components right so prior to this angular 9 so there is no need for us to mention this ent entry components because of this iv renderer so automatically the, the components will be taken care of. so if you want to see so here you can go and here you will see since 9.0.0 with the iv the entry components property is no longer necessary okay so this is one of the feature so where in the interviews if they somebody asks you about the entry components and all the things so you can tell that uh, from the angular 9.0.0 so with the entry with the introduction of the iv so entry components has been uh, deprecated so there is no need for us to mention that one in the entry components so previously you used to mention that one in the entry components okay so as this one is not uh, necessary so i am not explaining you about this entry components and all those things why because so from the angular 9.0.0 so entry components has been deprecated so there is no need for us to include the entry components okay so this is the about the <coughs> concept how we can uh, dynamically in, uh, in introduce the comp create that component using programmatically and in the next video we'll try to send the data to the dynamically created component okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the com comment below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you